Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Milson that teach us truth well and that continue to teach us truth well and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe okay this lesson it's been something I've been thinking about humility 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 never goes out of fashion everything else is going to go out of fashion humility never goes out of fashion Yahweh was the example of humility and when you go into that word humble, having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's importance, meek, okay, lowly, okay, a base, belittle. So in this truth, there's going to be times where Yahweh if he is dealing with you, he's going to do things in your life where you stay humble. Because if you're not humble, he knows how to make you humble. Whether it's falling in the flesh, whether it's something happening to you in the world, you might fall over in front of a group of people. It could, it could be various different things. It could be for a brother at camp humiliating you. Any form of way, Yahweh will make sure that you're humble. Okay? And don't think anything's wrong with that because he can draw more, more nigh unto thee. From what I've experienced in this truth, when you're humble, Yahweh Shai, he can draw closer to you, he can deal with you more, he can sup with you more. Okay? So I quickly want to go to, bear me just a minute. This is Psalms 138, and we're going to go straight to verse 4. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee. And this is prophecy. Okay, Psalms deals with a lot of prophecy. So all the kings of the earth are going to praise who? Yahweh Shai. Oh Lord, Yahweh Shai, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Every knee's going to bow, every tongue's going to confess, as it mentions in Philippians 2. Yeah, they will sing in thy ways of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, for great is the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Though the Lord be high, though the Lord, the Lord Yahweh Shai be high. Yet he have respect unto the lowly. So even though, see this is showing you. You have a shout what, his, his ways are above our ways. He's higher than us. He's in the spiritual realm. He's looking down upon us. Yet he have respect. So someone that's high up there in the spiritual realm, he still has respect unto the lowly. He still has respect unto the lowly, the humble, the meek. What does respect mean? Re meaning back, spec to look. So he looks at the lowly. Forget about the high seat, forget about the positions, forget about the views, forget about the, the subscribers. If one's humble, that's where favour is found, that's where mercy is found. If one is prideful, how can you be shown mercy if you're prideful, if you don't want to humble yourself? So this is why Yahweh does these things to us. But the proud he knoweth for far off. So if you know someone afar off, you don't want them next to you. If someone's afar off away from you, you don't want them next to you. So this is Yahweh Shai looks at humility and the proud. Okay. Excuse me. Proverbs 16 and 19. So lucky if I sound blocked up as well. Proverbs 16 and 19. Better it is to be of a humble spirit. Okay, so it's a better thing to be humble. And humble doesn't mean you gotta have your head down. We're not we're not no, we don't mean that. We're not we're not thinking about it in the world in the worldly sense. Because the worldly how they see humble is weak, shallow, step over. That's how the that's how the world see so sees humility. No. Yahweh Shai, he values humility. So better is it to be of a humble spirit. That means 
you're lowly, you have a low opinion of oneself. So if you have a low opinion of oneself, it doesn't mean, I'm not talking about, and when I say that, it doesn't mean you're a piece of shit. Because obviously you've been brought into this truth, you know this truth, so obviously we have a high level mentality, a kingdom mentality. But when it's opinion of yourself, you're not going to say, yeah, I'm, I think I'm great at this. No, you, you have a humble opinion of oneself. So it's better to be of a humble spirit with the lowly, with other brothers that are meek, than to divide the spoil with the proud and must spoil goods. So it's better to be of a humble, lowly spirit with the prophets, with instead of an army of men that are all proud and dividing the spoil in that war. <laughs> okay. And you probably when they're dividing that spoil, they're probably all gonna be boasting proud about it or oh, who took this who done that who made this move so it's better to be with the lowly okay humility never goes out of fashion never bear me just a minute this is um ecclesiastes 6 and 16 number not thyself among the multitudes of sinners okay Remember what the scriptures say. If the if the um what's it what's it what's it? If the if if the blind need the blind they shall both fall into a ditch. Okay. But remember the wrath will not tarry long. Okay, so in, in the multitude of sinners, what there's gonna be a judgment. Humble thy soul greatly for vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. So what's knowing that? Okay, and what's fire? That destruction, which is going to come via World War Three, And worms, what's the worms? The worms that eat out your body, maggots. Okay, and that's going to be what? The, the, the destruction of what? The, the ungodly. Okay, so humility is very, very, very important in this truth. I don't want to make this lesson too long. Bear me just a minute. Oh, man. Quickly get because all the fame and all that, yeah, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the, the fame of this world, it doesn't matter. The main thing you should be seeking, we should be seeking, is favor from Yahweh Shai, and how favor is shown for true humility. And you know what humility means shame, you have to be humiliated. It doesn't feel good, especially when it's on camera, but that's part of the truth. And through that, you're able to grow, you're able to learn, you're able to take more L's. When I first came into the truth, I thought it was all about winning. Because obviously, who wants to lose? Nobody wants to lose. Everybody wants to win. Who wants to become second? But in this truth, this is what we learn. And over time you start to be get you get better and what your character gets built up. And people start to see that. You have beautiful character. Why? Because you've been through these different things. Oh boy. Bear me just a minute. We're gonna shut off soon. Let's go to, bear me just a minute. Proverbs 27 and 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. So when you're being openly rebuked, that's better than secret love. Because secret love is what to hide. Nah, I don't want to tell him. I don't want to say this. But that's not really love, is it? So open rebuke is better. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Okay. So it says faithful are the wounds of a friend because that wound is a cut. But it's going to heal. A wound heals. So when a man tells you something, you may not like it. Yeah, that's class as a wound. Okay, but it's a friend. But the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. What does this remind me of? Judas. Okay, and what did he do? He kissed Yahweh. Okay. That's why it's about honesty. When we do these lessons, when I do these lessons... 
the first person I get on is myself and when I'm doing a lesson if it applies to a brother it applies to a brother and what do you do you think about it the first look the first thing is the flesh the flesh wants to get emotional the flesh wants to justify itself but then you sit back and you think why is this happening what could I do to improve on this and that's how you grow as a man okay so with this lesson I hope this was edifying and until the next time shout out to the hopeful elect shout out